Hey guys, I'm Will Sparks and I'm going to go through the making of Senseless. So this track dates back a year and a half or so now. The exact time I started this was when I was on a plane as usual and I watched this movie called Passengers, Passengers and I got really inspired by the scoring of that movie and I decided to start making something cinematic. So obviously if you know the track, I open straight away with some strings and basically I did most of my cinematics through Nexus. They have some great expansions, um, great presets, you know, you don't really need to tweak much, just find what works well with what. So basically here I've got a choir, some strings and a bass to bring in some low end. If we put them all together, I actually got lucky there at the end. Um, it's got some sort of arpeggiating up and down when I did these chords and it sounded great in the end. Um, they were actually just my piano chords and I put them onto my string channel and yeah, it kind of went up and down like that. So that worked out really well. I had an 808 come in here and kind of set the mood and then that little vocal starts. I wanted something really dark, really, um, cinematic kind of movie scorey sounding pretty random vocal that's kind of what i put together uh, you got to start with your strings have your choir have another string layering because that string sound is just flat there's, there's no metronome in that Now, another thing I want to go through, because I went through build-ups in the last tutorial, they're pretty similar, you know, I've got my snare build. Just a lot of cutting and chopping, really, um, mixed with a bunch of rises and what have you. The next thing I'm going to go through would be the bass. Now, I pride myself in this bass. It was... Um, quite a process it kind of like anything everything happens kind of by mistake you just keep on mucking around and things kind of come together so it has a low end and a high end to it so the low end was made through operator which is built in instrument within Ableton I got it sounding to the point where I had a really nice low feeling to it um, and left enough room for some high end to go on top. Bass layer. So yeah, this bass layer together. It's quite a harsh sound, but it really works well with the low and the top. So I made this through Microtonic. This is an amazing plugin for um, everything, especially high end kind of stuff and um, loops, perks, uh, drum loops, you name it, it's got everything. And that's how the bass came together. Let's get into the breakdown. Uh, this breakdown was a big drawing session for me because, you know, as you know, I don't play piano. So I brought my cinematics back in, um, but added a little bit of piano. Now, this is the first thing I actually started on with this track was the piano through from the influence of that movie. I basically just started with that note and added on top and then added and added and you see it keeps coming back here and I kind of stay in that same line but when it gets a bit more complex I was literally playing stopping playing hearing if it sounds right
So there's no limit to what you can do within a MIDI track, right? You can draw, listen, if you know your sound and if you can hear the notes going together, then you have no limitations. That was really the breakdown. I added every sound. I just added a little more of an element um, compared to the, the intro. The leads. Bit of a plucky lead. Second one I used lethal. Pretty simple processing with the lethal um, plugin, it's great. The third one was lethal again. With my sidechain again, like the last tutorial, I send everything through my compressor to a channel up here, which contains just a short clap. And the great thing for sidechaining through your compressor is I really kind of test it through the threshold and the ratio. Obviously the attack and release too, but it's a good way to find where it really fits well and where it pops the best the structure of this track. I mean, there's three drops and it's quite a journey. Um, to all the producers at home, you know, you don't have to copy everyone else. Really, you just think about what you would want to hear on a dance floor. I get so frustrated when I hear a song and it's really short and each drops is the exact same. Like, why does it have to be the exact same every time? It's not very creative, and plus you've got this whole, you know, creation you're doing. Why not just add certain things to give it that bit extra, you know? So the first drop, the second drop, and the third drop, So there you have it, a short walkthrough of Senseless. Thanks for watching and I'll do another one next week. Fuck you, that's all.